In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to display text dynamically in the Blender game engine. Here we have a text display object. It has a property text and an initial value of Barney. It has logic bricks. It has a keyboard sensor which will detect the pressing of W. That will send a signal through an AND gate to a property actuator which will assign hello world to the text property. So if we start that and press W, we get hello world, press escape. Uh, equally, we could use it for displaying a score. If I change this to integer, and instead of a sign, we use add and a value of five, say. And if I start that and press W, we add five each time, escape. So how do we make a text display? I'm going to do File New. I'm going to press Delete to delete the default cube. I'm going to add Mesh Plane. I'm going to go from the default view to the UV editing view. Um, I never use that panel. I never use that panel. I can move that over. But I do like a properties window so I'm going to split this window and make it into a properties window. I'm going to rename the plane so I'm going to the object properties and I'm going to call that text display and I'm going to the image menu open image blender folder and I'm going to open a font image file, zooming back using the mouse wheel. This is a bitmap file, an image file of a font, in this case Arial Black. Uh, if you think of true type fonts as being the vector version of the font, for this technique you need an image bitmap version of the font. There are free generators on the internet that will take any true type font and produce a bitmap version for you. Uh, I'll put this file on my website for you to use. You have to map the plane to the image file. To do that you must go into edit mode and in the mesh menu UV unwrap unwrap. Press S to scale and shrink that down to about the size of a single character. G to grab and put it over the first character. Shift and middle mouse button to pan into the middle and mouse wheel to zoom in. Then fine tune, so I'm going to press S to scale, make that a bit bigger, and G to grab, just to position that about there. Next we go to the object data properties and scroll down to the texture face panel and we're going to tick the text box. Now this is critical. Enable bitmap text on face will mean that the plane is mapped not just to the first character but to all the characters in the font file. And the other important thing to change is the transparency to alpha. Now I'm going to go into the game logic layout change the renderer to Blender Game Engine. I'm going to add a property to my text display and it must be called text with a capital T. If you don't call it text with a capital T it won't work. The type isn't critical but I'm going to change it to string and I'm going to put an initial value of Fred and we can't start the game engine because we're still in edit mode you must go to object mode and if I start the game engine we get the letters Fred but we can't see them. There are various methods for displaying objects in the 3D window. There is wireframe and if you choose textured any image files are wrapped around the objects. If I start the game engine now my text is displayed. If I put the display back to solid in the Blender Game Engine renderer it doesn't work. So if you find 
your text isn't being displayed, make sure that this setting is set to textured. If you find that your text is inside out, upside down, that can be fixed by going into edit mode, mesh menu, mirror, X global and press enter, mesh, mirror, Y global and press enter and that should fix it back into object mode and press start and there we have our text display escape before saving the file remember to pack the font image file in with the blender file to do that go to the file menu external data pack into dot blend file so we've created a text display that can be appended into a file that needs a display or you can start from scratch putting in some fancy font. I'll put the finished file and uh, the font image file at my website freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.